Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. Today we're taking on Chesterfield. Chesterfield, the town that is also a cigarette brand. Um, they have so much to be proud of. Today uh, we're going to do Question Tuesday again. We had so much fun doing it last time that we thought we'd do it again. Uh, maybe this time I'll get through more than five questions. Uh, the Wimbly Wombly's uh, coming off that 1-1 one, one draw find themselves uh, still atop... God, Ball John Green has a beautiful mustache. Still atop League One. But uh, who knows? Who knows where things will go from here? Uh, we're starting the John Greens up front. Ball John Green, our captain. Other John Green, uh, his husband. And uh, right now, the top goal scorer for the Wimbley Womblies. Uh, and we're back in world-class skill level. So we'll have to hope for the best. All right. Let's, uh, let's start. What's my first question, Meredith? Look at that. Just... Huh? My favorite words? My favorite words. What are my favorite words? I've always liked the word lovely. I was thinking the other day, though, that I liked, um, God, there was a term, ang anguish. I think anguish is such a wonderful way of describing anguish. It's such a, it's almost like a, um, is it onomatopoeia? A word that, that, uh, s s that comes from its sound, like the sound, that, uh, the internal sound that anguish makes is, is, is sounds like anguish to me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go, Lovely and anguish. I've never even used the word anguish in any of my books, but I think now I have to. Um, all right, what's, uh, what's my next question? Is there anything I miss about living in Florida? <laughs> sorry, sorry to laugh out loud from the question. Ah, uh, I miss the weather in, yeah, I mean, I miss the weather in January. Um, the weather in January here is horrible. Um... Uh, you know, I miss I miss my friends. Like I, 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 there was a lot of that that a lot of, a lot of people that I miss. But um, there's also a lot I don't miss about living in Florida. To be honest with you, I, I, where I lived in Florida is a very it's a transient place. It was a place where because Orlando is not a place that people come to stay. It's a place that people come to visit, and that creates all kinds of problems um, for a community. I think uh, it creates all kinds of perverse incentives and. Um, and I, I didn't like that. What's my next question? If I had to pick YouTubers to save the world, like to go on an asteroid mission a la Bruce Willis in that asteroid movie? Yeah. Um, okay, so if, if there's an asteroid coming for Earth and I had to pick some YouTubers to go into a space shuttle and save Earth, oh my God! That was a beautiful goal. This is so frustrating. World-class skill level is truly world-class, and I really thought I was up for it, but I just haven't been enjoying any possession. When I play world-class skill-level games and I'm not talking into a microphone, I, I can usually win them. But, uh, you know, then the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies aren't the Wimbly Womblies. It's just, you know, me playing FIFA privately. Um, yeah, I guess uh, the two people that come to mind are I, Justine, and Freddie Wong. Um... I think that they are both people of excellent character, uh, which is something that you need if you're going to be trying to save an asteroid, or I guess re really trying to save the planet. You're not so concerned about the asteroid. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I think you need to be a, a person of good character, but I think you also need to be pretty smart. And, uh, oh, good Lord, I almost gave up a second goal. And they are both of those things. So I'm going to go, I, Justine, Freddie Wong, maybe Brandon. Um, maybe, uh, I don't know. Not me, I'll tell you that. I'm not getting in that space shuttle. Not for, not for glory or money or country. I'm staying right here on Earth and letting the heroes do their hero work. Graveyards are full of heroes. That's my policy. Um, yeah, no, I'm no. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Now, what's my next question? Are the John Greens adopting a baby? Well, I mean, I haven't been talking about this stuff because I don't, you know, like, it's, it's weird to talk about a process, you know, um, it, while it's going on. And also, you know, they're fairly private guys. And, um, but you, you've, you, I'm sure you've seen the tabloids just like I have. Uh, it's certainly rumored um, that they're in the process of adopting, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to speak for them. I'm gonna, I'll, let them, I'll let them speak, but I think it'd be great. I think they'd be great parents. Oh, gold! Oh, gold! Dang it. That was an opportunity, Gold. That was a true blue chance. Um, that we, haven't, we still haven't had a shot on Gold, BTW. 
Uh, but we only need one. Only need one. There he is, Seb Brown. Seb Brown, I, I don't want to criticize him, but I think he should have made that save earlier um, on that corner kick. But I don't know. We, I was probably to blame for that on some level. I usually am. Uh, what's my next question? My go-to karaoke song? So I cannot sing, uh, as, as you guys may have noticed. Um, it's La Bamba. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, you may have noticed that I'm not blessed with a talent for either pitch or melody. Um, I, so my go-to karaoke song is 500 Miles by The Proclaimers because it is a song that I have sung a lot. I don't sing it well, but I know how to sing it. I know the words. I, uh, you know, like, um, I, because I've sung it on tour with my brother so many times. Um, and, like, I can, I can do the chorus. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're offside. You were naughty. And now I get the ball. Um, I can do the chorus passably well, and that's all you really need for, for 500 miles. Everything else is sort of, uh, yeah. Yeah, so 500 miles. It's a little bit of a frustrating first half for the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys. 1-0 down to Chesterfield. Chesterfield, where you're saying, I know, I feel the same way. I am also concerned. All right, let's see if we can turn it around and get the win, um, or at least a draw. A point is a good, every point is a good point here in League One. Third tier of English soccer. Nothing comes easy. Um, what, uh, what's the next question, Meredith? If all the planets were fit for humans, which one would I want to live on? Um, Earth, yeah. I mean, overwhelmingly. Uh, I'm a big fan of, like, I'm a, as you know, I'm a, big, I'm, I'm a fairly conservative person. I'm a big fan of now. I think the other planets, um, they're either, like, too far from the sun or too close. Um, we talking uh, in an earlier video about massively hypothetical questions. This is the most hypothetical of them all because, of course, the whole reason that the other planets are not fit for life is because of their distance from the sun. Well, not the whole reason, but part of the reason is because of their distance from the sun. Um, and if we moved them, they would become different planets. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I, but, like, Jupiter doesn't have any appeal for me. It's too large. You know, that's a very large world to live in, Jupiter. Like, I like the smallness of Earth, but then again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it to be smaller. I wouldn't want it to be Mercury-sized, you know? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question, but I don't have a good answer. Pass it to John Green. Cut back. Shoot. Oh, frustration. Dang it. Gosh. I've been better, but that shot would just left something to be desired. It was, it, it was kind of like half under my feet and... Oh, that's frustrating. 59th minute. I'm concerned. I'm grow There's a growing sense of concern among the Wimbly Wombly faithful that we might just not be quite ready for world-class skill level while also narrating videos. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, what's my next question, Meredith? My favorite sport to play IRL is definitely soccer. Um, I mean, I could play a little bit of basketball, but I, I like soccer. Soccer is just a great sport to play. It's just such a beautiful game. Even if you're really bad, it's still, uh, like, interesting and lots of, like, passing involved and tactics. Even at the lowest possible skill level, there's tactics involved. Look at that nice back heel. Oh, boy. That wasn't a good ball. It wasn't to the right person. There we go. Gold! Oh, a terrible angle, but it's good enough for ball John Green. Oh, ball. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's disappeared into the board. Oh, oh, no. We lost all of ball. Look at this awful angle, but ball John Green is just good enough to get it into the net. It was all started. It all started with gold, and then it finished with ball John Green. Ball John Green, John Green upon his mustache. We're keen. He gives it all for the team. Ball John Green, John Green. And while we're talking about him, he gets a corner kick. Okay, nervous times. It's 70th minute. I think we got to win this game. I really believe that we can. It's just will we? No! Oh! oh, cleared off the line. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Focus, focus. Oh, he didn't get his body turned around on it. That's my mistake. What's my next question, Meredith? What's my opinion of the friend zone? Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Uh, yeah, no. There's, you know. Uh, the idea that, like, women have an obligation to date you because they are your friend? Come on. That's, I don't I, Do I have to say anything else? I don't know. It, it's the strangest idea. Uh, you know, I have lots of friends I don't want to date, both, both men and women. Um, and... They're, 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 yeah, they're not in a zone. You should watch Hank's video on the friend zone. It's an amazing. It's a great video. Early Vlogbrothers video, but like a really, really good one. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's, come on. Let's, let's be serious. What's my next question? Most ridiculous college course I took? Uh, I had to get out of the science requirements, so I took a course called AIDS, Ebola, and Emerging Viruses, um, which uh, was mostly like reading. It was a lot of reading novels, thankfully. Um, about, but unfortunately, they were about AIDS, Ebola, and emerging viruses. And I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a hypochondriac. And knowing about these emerging viruses has been a disaster, not just then, but like an ongoing disaster in my life. You know? Like, knowing as much as I do about, you know, uh, like, hantavirus, for instance, is very bad for me. I've gained absolutely nothing from this. It has only made my life worse in every way. Maybe this guy's just going to run back until he gets to his goal. All right, we got to go attacking. We got to we got to find a way to win this game, boys. We can do this. Oh no. Seb Brown. Seb Brown picks it up and let's go. Let's go 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 go. Go. Go go. Meredith, I can't answer any more questions. I got to try to focus on winning the game. It's over. Da! Ah! 1-1 one, one draw. Standard Wimbley Wombly 1-1 one, one draw. Give up a goal early in the game. Get it back in the second half. This is becoming a pattern, and I don't love it as a pattern. Look at tiny little Goldie. He's so it's just a small man, but he's, but he's very strong. We don't even get the draw without him. So, Okay, everything's going to be okay. Don't panic. It's early days. That looks like Steven Gerrard. Uh, Ball John Green. He's walking funny. I'll have to I'll have to do some uh, investigations back in the training room, make sure he's not injured or anything. Uh, there's some concern between those guys about who's responsible. Then uh, other John Green makes a point of going and thanking the referee, as does Yabamba. Nope, that's Mora, uh, our new central defender. As class performance from the Wimbley Wombles, but we didn't get the result that we wanted. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.